Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Throne and Liberty Global Release News. You know what I have for you this evening? Nothing. Nothing. Which is kind of strange, considering that in the last few days we had this PAX East, then we had this GDC Game Developer Conference, and also Future Games Show. How is that even possible? Let's talk about this. Before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. I still can't believe that I don't have any kind of news for you this evening, because let's start a story from the beginning. First, we had this Game Developers Conference. We had this maybe a few days ago, this big event in San Francisco, California, and over there, actually, Amazon Games was already there, right? So I have seen they had two presentations, different kind of presentations. However, regarding Throne and Liberty, absolutely no news. Now, this was amazing opportunity to give us some kind of news, maybe not kind of, maybe not some kind of release date, you know, maybe not some kind of date for beta, but to make some kind of advertising, some kind of marketing campaign for Throne and Liberty, absolutely nothing. Let's go forward. Then we had this future game show. Yes, NCSoft was there, but because of another reason. They were promoting their new upcoming game, Battle Crash. Regarding Throne and Liberty, again, absolutely nothing. Now, you can see here from different gaming companies, Amazon Games obviously was not there. However, again, it was an amazing opportunity to give us some kind of trailer, maybe some kind of teaser. We have seen like a two hours live stream during this future game show. It was an amazing experience. We have seen so many announcements, trailers, uh, teasers regarding Throne and Liberty, nothing. And now we currently have, it's still actually up, PAX East 2024. And believe it or not, until this moment, there is still two days left. However, still no any kind of new information regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. And now, before you say, come on, man, what did you expect? Well, I did expect some kind of marketing campaign because there are many other new games coming which will be released not in 2024, maybe in 2025, 2026. These three events, PAX East, GDC and future game show. It was amazing opportunity to do some kind of, you know, advertising, to do some kind of marketing. No, Amazon games didn't even put one trailer, one teaser. And like I said, I didn't even expect, actually I did a little bit kind of hope we will get some kind of date for the beta test, but I didn't really expect to get any kind of concrete information regarding release date, but I did expect to promote the game. You know, this is kind of a normal thing to do, right? Because other gaming developers, they're taking this opportunity, one of these three amazing opportunities to promote their game, to make some kind of trailer, some kind of teaser, hey, coming soon, something. No, <laughs> absolutely nothing. I, I can't understand that, right? I do understand, like I said, that we don't have any kind of release date. Maybe it's too early. Maybe it's too early. Maybe we'll get a release of this game in quarter three of 2024. Maybe even in quarter four. I'm already afraid of that. That would be worst, absolutely the worst uh, solution. Nevertheless, I'm not surprised regarding no information regarding release date. However, regarding no marketing, I can't explain that. I can't understand that because Throne and Liberty will be released during 2024 globally. These opportunities were amazing to spread the word, to make some kind of marketing, to raise the hype. Nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. I can also show you here on official Twitter account of Throne and Liberty. Absolutely nothing since October 18, 2023. This is not possible. This is not possible. Right? From October 18, 2023, no teaser, no trailer, no post, absolutely nothing, right? Regarding Throne and Liberty in the previous week, we have seen this even interview with developers of this game, NCSoft, but this was regarding Korean version of the game. As you can see here, NCSoft is celebrating 100 days, actually a little bit more now, since the release of the game in Korea. Uh, this is actually a pretty interesting interview, but they are talking here about improving the game further, new updates, new features, future plans, you can see here, I'm still studying this interview, I will give you my recap in the video next week, I want to study everything properly, however, regarding global version of the game, there is nothing new here. I can also show you here what is interesting on Steam database, two days ago, that was just recently, again, lots of changes. 
something is definitely happening on Steam database because I can show you here. Look at this. These here are guides for different kind of weapons. You can see here guide for each weapon of Throne and Liberty, like a movie guide, in-game guide. And what is interesting, we can even see here a new weapon spear listed right on this list. Many changes you can see here they have implemented. Nevertheless, like I said, a huge disappointment within previous week. I was expecting 100%. I will bring you some kind of news either from GDC, either from PAX East, still not too late, still not too late. There is still like a little bit more than 24 hours, I think, uh, regarding PAX East. Nevertheless, if there was some kind of news, probably they would already announce it. And also here, this was perfect opportunity. I do understand NCSoft did promote their new game, Battle Crash, which is kind of normal. That uh, game is currently in, in beta test. However, I was expecting, look at these names here, many game developers and publishers, I was expecting perfect opportunity to give us some kind of trailer, teaser from Amazon Games regarding global version of the game. Nothing. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm speechless, which is very rare. If you're following my YouTube channel, then you know that I talk a lot. I do really do talk a lot, probably too much. But seriously, no marketing campaign. Zero. Zero. Nothing, right? So for this evening, uh, just to bring you uh, my... Uh, there is no news. To bring you my disappointment uh, regarding, like I said, not that we don't have any information regarding release date or beta date. My disappointment because there is no marketing campaign. I mean, you need to start a marketing campaign one year before release of the game, even sooner, maybe two years. No, we are probably, I, I don't know. I don't. Anyway, I hope next week I'll be able to bring you some better news. Of course, uh, I will focus also on what is happening on servers in Korea. Every Tuesday on my YouTube channel, you'll find special video Throne and Liberty news report where I'm covering also news regarding what is happening on servers in Korea. If you're interested into Throne and Liberty, visit my live streams on Twitch. I am live streaming still. Yes, I'm still live streaming every evening, 6 p.m. Central European time, mandatory gameplay of this game from Korea because well, because I love the game. I think this is one really amazing MMORPG. Nevertheless, like I said, for this evening, I don't have any kind of news to offer for you. Uh, I don't have any news to offer to you. Any kind of information, any kind of leak, any kind of teaser, trailer. Until when? Nobody knows. Don't lose your hope. Yes, situation is not that great. Absolutely, there is no any kind of situation currently regarding global release, right? Uh, no marketing. No transparency. No information from Amazon Games since October 18, 2023. Seriously, this is impossible that I'm even saying this, that for the last more than four months, five months, we didn't get one post, one post, one teaser, and so many great opportunities. Well, enough ranting, enough ranting and complaining and crying. I'm not crying, actually. For now, at least. <laughs> For now, at least. I'm joking, of course. But seriously, right? Uh, enough of ranting, enough of complaining. Uh, I hope uh, in the next week, maybe very soon, we'll get some kind of announcement regarding beta test. These changes here on Steam database are looking like preparation for some kind of beta test. When I see any kind of news, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. In the meanwhile, uh, stay optimistic. I know there is not many reasons to be optimistic currently, but this game is really good. Throne and Liberty is one triple A quality MMORPG. Amazing game. We just need to be patient, uh, have a good uh, nerves, right? And uh, yeah, what say? Uh, stay tuned on my YouTube channel regarding more news from Throne and Liberty. For this evening, just to share with you my uh, huge disappointment with absolutely no news uh, regarding global version of the game. And three huge opportunities to promote the game are gone. Right? Not regarding the news, just regarding promotion of the game. Free opportunities. Done. Over. PAX East. Game GDC, right? Game Developers Conference and future game show. It's over. It's over. Yeah. See you soon with another Throne and Liberty video. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon with another Throne and Liberty video. 